podcast. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, he moves up certainly, um, and you know, we do have some games here, but yeah, certainly he moves him up into um, you know a much more impactful role. Yes. Yeah, um, I won't have any update on injury here. You know, we'll, we'll get the availability report out on Saturday. Spencer Holbrook, let him in row. No, I, I think that, uh, you know, he's got so much football ahead of him. You're just starting to scratch the surface. Um, it started in the spring. Um, really had a great preseason. I mean, a great preseason and really impressed. And now you're starting to see it on the field. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll continue to try to build his – his uh, his reps up and um, you know I, I think it, it's like some of the guys in the past who have been exceptional freshmen for us you know they, they played some early on and then when November hit you know in, in times we need them the most they stepped up in a big way and um, you know I think about you know Garrett in the rivalry game I think about the same thing with Chris you know we had that block punt and then those two touchdowns and then you know I think about Marvin and Mecca in the in the Rose Bowl that one year and you know Carnell's on that same path so um, you know, we'll, we'll see how it shakes out, but he's, he looks like he's ready to roll for, for November here. I would think if you would ask a receiver, they would never say that there's too many. I think they always want the ball, but um, no, I, I, you know, you always want to, make sure that they're featured in the offense you know what is that number I think it, it's 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 different based on what you know uh, you're seeing defensively what the what the you know opponent is doing um, but you know that's why we spend so much time game planning trying to figure out how that all all that shakes out and uh, how the all pieces come together and then sometimes you know you may design it a certain way you know for instance last week we had several plays designed to go to the tight end it didn't quite turn out that way so um, you know but you know, a lot of plays that we have are, you know, we, we, put, we keep personnel in mind. No, zero. Uh, you know, um, no. We don't, we, I mean, it means we've had a good start, but, um, you know, our first goal is to win the first game, the next goal is to win the next 10, and, and then we have a few uh, after that. And so, you know, n none of those goals have been met other than winning the first game. So um, we got a lot of football ahead of us. And, um, you know, we, we just got to go to work. And uh, we'll look up at the end of the year. Our goal is to be the number one team at the end of the season. Right behind him, Andy Baxter, let him in row. Yep. No, we test him every day in practice, just tested him out there and in, in, in – um, you know, I guess it's in the 40s, and um, you know, he had enough leg for a 56-yarder. Um, just just missed it in practice, but um, no, he's um, he's quick. You know, he has the leg, and there, there were there were two opportunities in the game last week that I really wanted to, to get. That it was right around the 34, I think, maybe the 36, and we get, we got pushed right out on the sacks, and um, so we we got to do a better job there. But those were opportunities to make it a two-score game, and would have definitely given him an opportunity there. And he's got to be ready this week. Yeah, for sure. Um, and when you have an opportunity, when you flash like that, you get more opportunity. And, and Hero got put it in a big spot in the second half there and, and showed up in a big way, made a nice play on a – I forget the down, but it was on a run play. It was a second down, yeah, and that, that was a huge play in the game. I think there was like a little bit of momentum going on right there, and, 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 he, and he made a nice play. So when you do that, you just build trust uh, with your teammates, and, and then you're going to have more opportunity to prove yourself. So, um, you know, every, everybody has an opportunity every day in practice to prove themselves. And then when you get into a game, when you do that, you're going to get more opportunity, and that's an example of it. Nathan Baird, Cleveland.com.
Well, I think when you look at that class that came in, um, you know, we had Jordan, we had, uh, you know, we had Denzel, uh, J.K. Johnson. You know, they were a highly recruited guys that, you know, came in and wanted to play. And, um, you know, I, I just felt like at the time if, if we were going to, you know, bring in a bunch of guys, um, you know, it really could uh, create an issue there. And, um, but, but then after, after this, this past season, just looked at it and, and felt like the numbers, we needed to bring in somebody experienced. And, and those guys really embraced Davison. And, and you can see, you know, he's done a really good job of establishing himself with his work ethic and his, his play, his toughness, and he's producing. So um, you know, the, the quickest way to get respect around here is to go put it on the field and go to work. And, and he's done that. And, um, you know, we, we take, you know, bringing guys in, you know, uh, very seriously. You know, you don't just walk into this program and, you're going to play you know there's a lot of work that's put in on a yearly basis there's a lot that goes on with this team there's a lot of pride with this team but the guys that we bring in you know we take a lot of time making sure that they're the right fit for the culture of the team and and davison's been a great fit Uh, a little bit of both, yeah. I, you know, explosive plays. When you think about it on the defensive end, it usually means you know there's there's been you know a breakdown in coverage or maybe a missed tackle. Um, you know, on the offensive side of the ball, certainly you know there are plays you try to design to create explosives, um, but many of them come up just by you know good execution and and you know making guys miss out in space. So. You know, I think about the run that we had that was the explosive one that, that made it a two-score game in, in, against Wisconsin. It ended up being an explosive run, but that was just an inside run play that was well executed. So, um, you know, to answer your question, you know, a lot of it is, you know, executing things well, getting your, your, your playmakers the ball in space, but then there's times where, you know, you got to design plays to do exactly that. Um, and certainly part of that is, you know, pushing the ball down the field in, in the run game and, and getting the ball in the perimeter in the, or in the pass game and then getting the ball in the perimeter in the run game. All right, guys.